Yo, what is up guys? My name is Roberto Gallegos. If you don't know me, I am an industrial engineer in the making. And today I wanted to share with you guys a very special hobby of mine that you probably already know, but I wanted to share with you more of what happened during these five years that I started lifting and that I started getting into the gym and actually becoming obsessed with the gym. At some point in my life right now, I've kind of found a balance between it, but I wanted to share with you guys six things that basically happened during these five years that I've been lifting and how my mentality's changed, how my body's changed, how I felt like all these things that have happened during these last five years have pr probably shaped me as a person more than anything else besides school and my parents like it's one of those hobbies that just made me who i am today so i'm really passionate about the mental side of it when i speak of this so don't be surprised if i kind of start speaking a little bit more passionate about it a little bit more i love to speak about this and i love to share with people my experience and my 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 journey through through the gym but mostly out of these six things i want you guys to be able to get something from it if you're not already in the gym and you're struggling to make it a habit i just want to share these six things that might excite you a little bit or motivate you to keep going because these things come with time and they don't usually happen during the first week or second week or third week or even the year. They usually happen. The more you go, the more you start realizing new things that the gym teaches you that's way beyond just lifting weights or just getting big, you know? So I really hope you guys can get something out of this because this video is mostly to help you guys actually get motivated to go to the gym or to at least notice these benefits that you get you could get from the gym so i'm gonna share with you guys these six things and the first one being increased confidence i'm gonna put a picture of me guys right here so you guys can see where i was where i started off when i started the gym and where i am actually now so as you can see the number one thing i was seeking for by going to the gym was to become to get bigger to get a bigger frame a bigger body i wanted to I wanted to fill my muscles. I didn't want to be that puny guy. I didn't want to be skinny. I didn't like it. And so the first thing that obviously I started noticing in my mind besides my body was an increased sense of confidence. I noticed that I was getting all these comments. Robert's getting stronger. Robert's getting jacked. Robert's getting huge. Like I started noting, noticing these comments and that's what, bo what boosted my confidence levels. I started noticing changes in my body. I, st I started getting motivated because of the changes in my body. So this increased sense of confidence throughout my mind, like it just switched my whole game plan, like for the good. It honestly made me just be more secure about myself and be more confident about myself and, and realize what I'm capable of accomplishing. Because if I could do, if I could change my body, I could change basically anything in my life. That's how I saw it basically. So I, that sense of confidence gave me a sense of pride and realization of what I could do in life. So number two, was this one's super important for me discipline the gym taught me discipline and i could basically go hours talking about this this topic but i'm not gonna dwell too much into it i just want to tell you guys like what i basically learned from the gym was how to apply discipline to any single endeavor in my life and since i know discipline is needed for any endeavor in life it was easy for me to apply it because i started going to the gym and i started noticing the results noticing the comments noticing the the confidence and i just started to get addicted to it and addicted and it just became a from an addiction to more like a sense of i have to go because if i don't i'll feel bad with myself mentally like it would just be like that every single day and it started becoming more of like a discipline like I have to go because this is what keeps me sane and this is what keeps me accomplishing my daily goals. So I knew that if I'd stopped going to the gym, I was going to lose all that confidence, all that motivation, all that mentality, all that that came with the gym. I was just afraid to lose that. So it gave me a sense of, okay, so you have to keep going because this is what keeps you, you. So basically it taught me discipline, taught me how to be consistent with anything in my life. And that was like one of the biggest things that I, I could have gotten from anything like discipline is key for anything and being consistent on anything will equal success. So moving on to number three, I'm writing them down here. So mentally stronger. What do I mean by this? I looked for challenge. Like I, I became mentally stronger in, a, in, in the way that 
I wanted to wake up earlier. I wanted to seek tougher challenges for me. I wanted to seek even more than the physical side of it, even more than just the lifting heavier weights and, and just getting bigger and seeing how much I can hold the pain was okay. Like I can go to the gym every single day, but can I wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym every single day? How much mental challenge can I suffice? So basically I was looking for harder challenges and stuff to make me mentally stronger. And I didn't even know what mental toughness was at the moment. I was just looking for, for tougher stuff just because I realized like if the gym gave me all this stuff and it was hard, I should look for harder stuff to do for it to give me even more benefits. So that was basically my train of thought. So once I knew what mental toughness was and how it benefited you, I started looking for even more and more challenges and just tougher stuff to make me mentally stronger. So that was one of the things that really helped me throughout my life too, because there, we all have some problems in life and we all have stuff we have to go through and stuff we have to endure. So the gym is one of those things that just helps you get through those things and helps you unload all of your problems. It sounds a little bit crazy, but I'll dwell into this topic about how you can unload all your problems on the gym on the next point. So moving on to number four, when I entered my second to third year to the gym, like I was already pretty consistent with it. Like second to third year, I was, I already had pretty decent results. My body was at a, ha I was at a happy place. And this second to third year was actually when I realized that I wasn't going to the gym because of the physical aspect of it. Like, of course I did see myself in the mirror, like I was proud of my body and everything, but I realized that I'm not going to the gym because I want to grow more. Like I didn't even want to look like Hulk or anything like that. I didn't want to be bigger. I was more so going to the gym because it kept me mentally sharper. It kept me mentally focused. Everything I needed to accomplish throughout my day started with the gym. So coming out of the gym and going to accomplish all these goals and all these tasks I needed to accomplish throughout the day, it needed to start with the gym. It needed to start there because that's what literally paved my path to accomplish all these things I needed to get through the day. I realized that, okay, so going to the gym isn't because I want a better body. It's because it sets me up for success throughout the whole day. It sharpens my mind to be even more focused on, on the tasks at hand that are gonna come. It might be an hour and a half in the gym, but for me, it was more like one hour and 30 minutes of meditation. It was literally like therapy for me. Like I just unloaded all my thoughts, all my feelings, everything. And I, I just left the gym happier. Like I, I felt happier. And this second or third year when I noticed this was when I started implementing a little bit more kind of hit workouts because the tougher my workouts got, the more pleasure, like it sounds masochistic, I know, but my mind just became sharper and it just becomes, you just feel this sense of pride and sense of accomplishment with yourself that doesn't match anything. Trust me guys. So, so that was basically me trying to explain what I felt throughout this, this realization of what my body was feeling through these second to third year. And I was pretty happy with my body now. So it was more of like what my mind was benefiting from. So that was mostly for what I went to the gym from the second to the third year. So moving on to number five of the things that literally shaped me for going to the gym for five years was that I realized that it didn't only work as a focus and it's just sharpener from my mind and for my whole day and for my actual person, but it worked to actually handle my mental problems. Like for example, I don't know if I've had a fight with my parents or something like that. Like I could fix that in the gym, like literally just lifting heavy stuff. Like I know it sounds like an animalistic and just it sounds so wrong, but I just fixed my problems by just going hard at the gym. Like my anxiety, my thoughts, my, my body was just one. So my anxiety, my thoughts, my attitude, everything got on check after the gym. So I realized like, oh, so it doesn't only work as an as, as, as a sharpener for your mind and it doesn't only make you focus on your goals, but it works as an outlet to unload your problems. That's something that was huge for me because I'm a, I'm, I might not look like a problematic person or anything and I'm, I'm not, but we all have our problems, our mental problems or deep problems. And that's where I fixed them. That's literal. that was literally my therapist. So by this time I was literally going to the gym just for the mental benefits. It didn't have anything to do with the body anymore. It was more of like how I felt up here. So, 
that was number five. And moving on to number six, and the last one that I realized that really helped me throughout these five years in the gym was, and this one's huge for me, that's why I left it at the, at the last one, because it's it really touches deep into my into my heart and my, my person. And it was to not be afraid to be myself. I was one of those kids that was just super afraid to be himself or to sh really show his true colors. And do what he really loved, which might be making videos or might be sharing this kind of stuff with you guys. And I would have never done it before I started the gym. Like I would have never even thought of looking at a camera lens and just speaking to it, okay? The gym just, I don't know how this came about, but it just taught me to be proud of myself and be confident in myself and secure that I am this person and I gotta stay true to that person because if I don't, what's the future person of me gonna be saying of myself? Like I was afraid of the future me looking down upon me and just being disappointed on me because I never got to accomplishing those things or got to even trying those things that I really wanted to do at the time. So it gave me a sense of pride on myself and what I did and what, what I was doing was right. So it literally, formed how I thought of myself. So in summary, it basically taught me how to be myself and how to not care of what other people think or what other people are gonna say about your my hobby or my my, my passions or what I wanna do in life. So that was huge for me and that was that's one of those things that really touches deep in my heart and literally makes me wanna cry. But like, I don't, like, I don't care anymore if I, I, I get, like, I'm true to myself 100% and I share my true, person with you guys because I believe in it and I believe in what I do and I believe it's right to help other people and it's right to to motivate other people that might not be yet where I am so that was that's basically it for these six things that actually impacted me through these five years of the gym this is what basically happened like these are the steps that that basically shaped me through these five six years of of my person so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys got something out of it because that's basically what, what this what this video is about, what this channel is about. It's basically to help you guys maybe get something out of these six things or maybe it's not like straightforward tips, but like it's something you can relate to or something you can look forward to if you maybe starting the gym and you want to give up. Don't give up. Trust me, these things are things that you that the gym gives you as basically presents for being disciplined or for being consistent, for actually sticking to what you say you're going to do. So don't give up on it. Don't be discouraged if you're not looking results. Trust me, the long term results are way worth what you're doing right now. OK, so stick to it. Don't give up. And trust me, you will thank yourself later for what you're doing right now. So that's basically for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys would like to see on the next video. And that will basically be it for me. So I'll be seeing you guys on the next video.